Hello and welcome to 1995batman.com. Today we are going to be looking at the six plastic two inch uh, applause statues. First up we've got Batman uh, against a very stone kind of circular statue. It's a nice little sculpt actually. Uh, obviously he's in the sonar suit from the film um, but it's coloured in black rather than dark blue. This bit is sort of, um, it's been a little bit of light paint work just to give it a bit of uh, definition and kind of character. I really like that. It goes on the back. First I thought this, when these first turned up, I figured this was like a mistake or something, but I realized it's actually sort of intentional kind of uh, detailing. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad likeness of uh, Val Kilmer. Um, the suit maybe is a little over detailed, uh, but yeah, that's a good one. Next up we go to the next Batman, again in the sonar suit using the Batarang from the end of the film. Um, again, really nice sculpt, nice dynamic pose. Um, really like the flow of the cape here. Nice kind of dynamic movement. Not the greatest um, Val Kilmer mouth. Val Kilmer has a pretty distinctive mouth. I don't know whether they've really caught that there, but anyway, good figure. Less successful is the Robin figures, I'm afraid. So he's in this sort of um, screaming at the skies kind of pose, which is uh, interesting, I guess. Uh, the cape, there's no real kind of like detailing on it, it's just kind of like one kind of piece. Uh, there's a little bit of a problem with the um, gloves, should have been black. For some reason, they've done them green so it kind of they've done the boots black but not the gloves for some reason um, and just the face just yeah it's just not a great pose and obviously they've put the um, the pupils in his eyes kind of blue pupils I don't know whether it really works putting the pupils in sort of a maybe would have looked better with just white eyes next up is uh, this one another Robin figure um, Again, he's carrying the uh, the grapple hook from the film. Again, gloves are green, not black. It's a shame. Um, the cape's a bit better. It's got like a little bit of detailing. It's not just one kind of flat piece. Um, again, he's on like a little bit of kind of uh, bridge or something. I don't know. Um, and yeah, the kind of leg just looks a bit weird in there. It's kind of like a kind of squish. Um, and again, the eyes have got the blue rather than just white eyes think kind of ruins it a little bit, but eh, this is going a little bit floppy. After 25 years, I, I think a lot of the figures are just uh, yeah on their last legs now. Um, but apart from that, it's an okay figure. Next up is the Two-Face. So there were two Batmans, two Robins, and there's just one Two-Face and one Riddler. Um, this is kind of cool. There's a nice bit of like kind of character in this, and it's uh, kind of part of the movie that we didn't see. It's obviously Two-Face in its straitjacket, having escaped from Arkham Asylum. Uh, for some reason, already in his costume, uh, carrying a gun. But hey-ho, it's an interesting thing. And then we get kind of Arkham Asylum TM on the back here to show where he's from. Uh, a bit of grass on the floor. Again, the eyes kind of look a bit cartoonish because they've had to put the pupils in and the detailing's just not great. I mean, these figures retailed for like about £10 probably back in the day in the UK. So, you know, you're not going to get fantastic quality, but I think it's not too bad of a figure. And then last up is the Riddler. Now, I really like this. It's obviously kind of based on kind of Rodan's The Thinker uh, figure. You've got like a kind of sitting on a TV set. He's plugged into his um, Enigma Tech box. Um, for some reason, they put him in red gloves, which he didn't have in the film. He just had just plain hands. And the eye, they've just left black for some reason. But um, yeah, this is a nice little figure. Uh, I like this one probably best of all of them. Um, now we'll just cut to a quick shot of the whole lot of them. Um, so six figures in total. Uh, they originally came in like a cardboard box. Uh, I don't think you were able to purchase them individually. Um, but yeah, I would say if you can find them on eBay, uh, they're probably well worth your money, actually. They're probably one of the better things that Applause did. Applause had the rights to do uh, all of the kind of non-moving kind of statues, um, ceramic mugs, uh, plates, perhaps. 
um, and just kind of diorama pieces like this. Um, and the paintwork was always pretty kind of ropey on a lot of them. Um, and these are probably the best thing that they did.